Hey, I'm Jenny from Killer Inc, and we're here at Six Bullets Tattoo Studio in Islington with Adrian Delarge and Laura Lenahan. Hiya. So, how long have you been working at Six Bullets, and where were you before that? Uh, I've been here for about two and a half years now, but yeah, I started just before the pandemic, so some of the months I wasn't working, but yeah, about two and a half years. I've been working in Six Bullets Tattoo for about four years now, and before that, I was in another tattoo studio in London called Santos Gregor. What made you want to be a tattoo artist? Uh, for me, it's like I've been involved since I was a little kid with, with mm -hmm. tattoos. My grandfather used to tattoo himself and other people with hand and, and a mirror. And also my sister was involved with people doing body suspension. So I've always been really interested in, in this industry. But what it really made me decide to be a tattoo artist, like to see the community that is traveling around the world and, you know, meeting new people and, and yeah, studying the culture from, from many, many people. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a way better answer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, um, I just was really into metal when I was a kid. <laughs> I really loved everybody about tattoos. And the only thing I was really good at was drawing. So I was like, oh, that looks like something I'd be able to do. So yeah, that's why I really wanted to get into it. But yeah, the first time anything. What are you working on today? I'm working in a piece from an anime TV show called Chainsaw Man. So we're adapting it to the area that we're doing and we're going to make like, something really cool and special. Uh, yeah, I hope you like that. Um, I'm working on a bigger piece that I've already sort of like started half a bit on, but yeah, we're doing a couple of skulls and a mandala on the side of the knee, so we'll see how long. You both do black work, but in pretty different styles. Could you each describe the style for us? Yeah, so I was always drawn to black work because it's the way that I draw, so it's kind of hard to just describe my style exactly, as there's lots of things that I want to do and want to put in, but I think I, like, I always want to uh, use lots of lines and dots, so I, yeah. I use that with nature and patterns and kind of like mix it all together. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of hard to describe the style, but yeah, it's as much detail and as much nature and as much pattern as possible, basically. I would define it like uh, woodblock, you know, uh, kind of like engraving and really close to comic illustration, but yeah, it's like minimal shading. I'm trying to put a little bit more stippling right now. Give it more depth, but I love to leave it as skin as possible. If you weren't a tattoo artist, what would you be? Um, well, I studied makeup, prosthetics, and special effects at uni before I uh, was a tattooer, so mm -hmm. I probably would have stayed in that. But I wanted to do tattooing way more than I wanted to do that. So mm -hmm. as soon as I finished my degree, I just got my apprenticeship. Basically, yeah. It's gonna sound weird, but I would love to be a carpenter. Carpenter. Yeah, because I love to work with wood, and I think it's. Another kind of craft uh, that I would love to do, and uh, yeah, just bring me peace. Are there any other styles you'd like to try but haven't been able to yet? I would love to do uh, black work. I haven't done anything yet, but I would love to do black out an arm or something like that. Yeah, yeah I'd like to do more blackout and yeah, more Japanese uh, style work. I think it's it's amazing. I just need to research more into it, learn about it, because yeah, it just seems like a massive like genre of tattooing but yeah mm. it's just incredible. And what supplies are essential to your work? Uh, so yeah stencil stuff, uh, are, yeah my stencil stain is literally the most important thing to my tattoo. As soon as that starts coming off I start to sweat. Um, Hustle Butter, really love the foam that they do, it's amazing. Uh, it just seems to like calm the client down as well as the tattoo, it's yeah it's amazing. So as she said like every single one she said uh, it's really important and that's why it's really nice to have a really nice supply company that you can rely on. And if you have any problems, you miss anything in your, you know, order or whatever, you got a really great customer service that can, you know, change that because if you miss anything that you need for, for the tattoo, you, you really struggle because you have to work with something that you're not used to know and that, yeah, you can, you can tell. What is your tattoo designing process and where do you find inspiration? So yeah, inspiration I can find it anywhere, uh, mostly like movies, books, uh, even, you know, like going to museums and everywhere. Mm -hmm. And in the designing process, I think the way I do it is, for me, it's really important the, the area of the body that we are working on mm -hmm. because that is going to 
tell me how we need to, to proceed with the composition and everything. I really want to be able to see the whole design at first sight. That I don't really be fan of wrapping tattoos and things like that because I really want to adapt the, the tattoo to the area. I think it's a challenge, but I, I really, really enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I still just look through like tons of books uh, to get like any research. Like, yeah, I've got those books at home. They all have like little tiny leaves in them to like to try and remember what I've looked at before. But mm -hmm. yeah, I find the design process. Um, it also depends on what the client wants. So th they come to you with an idea, and you sort of like take that as a base and then go with it. I tend to try and find as many like reference images as I can. Um, like lay them all out. Like sketch. Like sketch it roughly first and then kind of like go over and over again refining it mm -hmm. until I essentially have like yeah the almost finished design but then yeah you go back to the client and see what they think of it and then change things if necessary so yeah that's how that's how I do it anyway. Do you have any advice for people who want to become tattoo artists? Yeah draw 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 and when you're tired of drawing draw some more and that's the only advice <laughs> just draw. Uh, I would say, yeah, just keep trying uh, is the best thing. Uh, make sure you go into studios and ask people rather than just like phoning up after, uh, like asking after apprenticeships. Uh, I think that's really important. Uh, people, you know, hopefully will always want to see your work and always want to be uh, constructively critical about, you know, what you can do. And the more people you ask, it's going to be, you're always going to get the, the best experiences from that. Do you have a tattoo artist idol? I don't particularly have an idol. Um, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've got an idol. Um, I respect like any female tattooists that have ever come before me. Uh, I think they've like paved the way for all of the younger like females coming through. It's, it was a very hard industry to break into, so I respect all of them a lot. Uh, for me, it's the same. I don't have an idol, but yeah, respect for many artists, all my colleagues, and um, yeah, I mean, you, you can learn from anyone. Um, but the more so I respect it, like people that, you know, like try to create their own language, drawing and tattooing and trying to make something different or respect the old way on the, on the process of creating a, a design and a tattoo. Can you tell us a bit about the rest of the Six Bullets team? Uh, yeah, uh, oh no, I've screwed that up, I'm like, yeah, yeah, they're great. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, they're absolutely great. Um, yeah, I feel like it's like, like a small family, it's like since I started here, I was doing a guest spot and I felt like I was working here for many years and it was my second week. And when I had the chance to start working with, with them, that was, that was one of like the best moments of my life. It was, Thanks to them, I've been able to meet many amazing artists that come and guest with us and then just work with, with the guys around, like seeing what they're doing. We always learn something from them, so super, super cool guys. Yeah, I think that's like the thing I noticed lots is just how welcoming everyone was when I first started because it's always so intimidating like going into tattoo shops. But even when I came in for my interview, it was just, yeah, it's just at home, like instantly. Like, yeah, you're, everyone is definitely made to feel like super welcome. And everyone like gels and gets along like really, really well, don't, don't we? Yeah, we go out on some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> we go out on some really fun nights out, and yeah, everyone just everyone just seems to get along. I literally don't think there's like any problems, which is crazy when you've got like ten plus people working together. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's great, isn't it? Yeah. So Ben, your viral drawings have been picked up on Instagram and gotten really popular. Uh, were you expecting that? Uh, no, not really. I mean, it's it's always a nice bonus when. It is picked up. Obviously, more people see it, and I guess from that, you know, there's there's a lot more people that can get like inspired by that. And if my artwork's out there a bit more, then you know, if it inspires someone, it's quite cool. But I don't outright set out for my work to be seen that far. If it does, it is cool. But yeah, not really. I didn't expect it at all. But it's, it's a nice feeling, though, isn't it, when anyone shares your page? But it's not even like popular pages, any sort of page, art sharing page or anyone that shares my work is appreciated, you know, but... Is it difficult transferring from biro to tattoo? It, it, it can be, sometimes, yes, in terms of the size of stuff, if someone wants it like a like the size of a pound coin, I don't really tattoo that way. But in terms of one of my normal designs being done bigger, it's, I try and draw the same way I tattoo, or tattoo the same way as I draw. Hence the three round line of stuff where it's, I try and replicate the way I draw and the way I tattoo, but not everything can translate the same way. But 
Yeah, most of it. It kind of sounds like, yeah. And what's your favourite subject to tattoo? Uh, it's probably going to sound very cliche, but I tattoo, a, well, I draw and tattoo a lot of skulls. And I was only aware, made aware of that when one of my clients um, pointed out to me, like, oh, you do a lot of skulls. And I was like, no, no, I don't. I draw a lot of skulls. And then we were just scrolling through my feed together. It's just like skull after skull after skull design. I was like, oh, okay. So I guess subconsciously, skulls have, have crept into my mind. And they're quite fun. They're a fun subject. So your artwork is often of women from history or mythology or religion. Um, is there a particular um, character that you would really like to tattoo? Um, I really like the idea of doing a goddess from Greek mythology called Mania. She's the goddess of insanity, so I feel like that would be a good one to get creative with. Do you have a favourite character or theme in your tattoo work? I really like Greek mythology because there is a lot of different goddesses that I can interpret in my own way through my tattoos and they represent a lot to do with like strong feminine energy which is pretty much what like I like to base my work around. How does your artistic approach differ between oil painting and tattooing? With tattooing, particularly at the beginning of my career, I was like fixated on trying to make everything super smooth, whereas with oil painting it's a lot freer. So my approach would be different in terms of that I'd have a lot more texture and a lot more like stuff going on. It'd be a lot more messy with oils, whereas with tattooing it's very controlled, very smooth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tom, what is your favourite subject to tattoo? Um, I'd say my favourite subject to tattoo would either be something sci-fi related or horror. Def I lean more towards horror now than I do towards sci-fi stuff though, definitely. So you do a lot of like both animal faces and human faces. Uh, is one of them particularly harder than the other? I would always say a human face is harder to tattoo, purely just to convey the emotion, I think, in a face. Mm -hmm. With an animal it's a little bit easier. Um, because it's more kind of like texture and fur and whatnot, but with a human face, you get the eyes wrong, it's done, do you know what I mean, straight away. So for me, a human face would always, always be harder. Why do you prefer working in black and grey over colour? For me, my brain just breaks an image down into black and grey. I've always drawn with pencils or graphite pencils, never in colour. So even if I look at a colour image, I still end up sort of breaking it down how I would into a black and grey image. So I would love to take on colour, but for me, like I say, it's just how my brain works. Mm -hmm. It's how I particularly sort of approach a tattoo or a design. I see it that way. So for me, it's easier to kind of convey it on the skin that way. He recently did a collaboration piece with Marlon. How was that? And was is there anyone else you'd like to collaborate with? So the collaboration was amazing. For uh, for me, it was like the fourth collaboration I did. For him, it was the first one. But actually, it was really good because we spent uh, lots of time on the actual design, like 30 hours just on the design. I would uh, I personally think to collaborate with someone I maybe need to know before the person like how we, they approach. At the moment I will always say Marin because he's an amazing artist and he's a cool guy. Um, what drew you to the neo-traditional style of tattooing? I was uh, always working with uh, realism artists. I really like the traditional tattoos so I decided to try to combine these two styles but just not trying to do like flat designs like because you know, traditional artists usually they take pictures and they do the lines and take the the shape of the subject and that's it so just try to using lights and shadows of realism and bold lines of traditional, so just try to do something the art way of tattooing, not like simplify and mm. you know. What are your favourite things about working in London? Uh, I I just love London. I love everything about London. Like yeah, I always wanted to move here, so I'm just super grateful that I'm still living here. Like. I don't know, 15 years now, it's great. Yeah, absolutely love it. Just even just like walking around, there's so much cool, like, I mean, there's loads of cool like museums and galleries and stuff, but just see the amount of like cool stuff that there's just on the street, like all the graffiti, like just different, just even shops, like tiny galleries, different things like that. Venues, yeah, the music that you get here. Yeah, I, I love it. Yeah, I love the 
healthy competition that is between artists and the culture that is inside you coming from another country apart from being really welcoming uh, I was amazed like how many artists from different places it seems like a like a hot space uh, hot space uh, for tattooing um, and yeah I just I just love that because I feel like I'm in the center of what is, you know everything is happening in right now so yeah what are some places that any tourist should visit in London? So it's hard because there's just like so many. Um, I don't know, what do you reckon? I really like the walk from Angel to Victoria Park through the canal. I think it's like really cool walk. Uh, any museum, London is filled with amazing museums. Um, yeah, the canals are great. Hackney Wick's really fun. It's mm -hmm. just like, it's yeah, it's kind of just a bit random down there. You've got like loads of different like pop up everything basically it's really yeah it's really cool to go to uh camden uh yeah it's close to here yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone should always visit camden yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for chatting to us today laura and adrian where can we find more of your work online yeah so uh, my instagram is laura lemahan tattoo or you can go to the shop's instagram which is six bullets tattoo uh my instagram is at adrian the and uh, you can find me also on facebook and in tiktok Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See ya. Thank you. Bye. Okay, quick fire round. Marvel or DC? DC. DC. Disney or Studio Ghibli? Oh, Disney. Oh, I'm a loser. Disney, <laughs> <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Um, city holiday or beach holiday? Uh, beach holiday. Beach holiday. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars. Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ricky. <Rick. laughs>